Alright. Well, let's see this for a little bit and then we'll go to the pool. Be like, so I don't watch TV. I just want to. Oh, wow. Como le caña? Caña. For the sugar cane? Jugo. Saca jugo de caña. Oh, that's great. For fire water? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that's great. So the cane goes in? See? Si. Mm -hmm. You turn? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Put a jugo. Jugo. Mm -hmm. De la caña. De aquí ve. Lo junta. Y aquí ve. Wow. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, and distill. Distill. Uh, Distiller, uh, okay. Distill, trago. <laughs> trago, mm -hmm. aguardiente. Okay. De aquí sale, de aquí, hierbe. Sale de acá, y acá va a salir. ¿Es caliente? Sí, caliente. Sí. Mm -hmm. Firewater distiller. That's a big drink. <laughs> 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 aquí, 
Aquí viene el, el vapor, vapor, uh -huh. vapor. Okay. Y viene aquí con el choque en el agua, en el agua fría, uh -huh. se convierte en líquido y sale el, el agua ardiente. Sí. Ah, uh, okay, and it pours out there. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Here, I have to show the guys, they like to see it. I wonder if it, it I guess it's not illegal. I guess it's just a standard practice. You know? Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the sugar cane that they make fire water out of. And this is uh, pretty interesting. Actually gives you a pretty good lesson on why you should not drink moonshine. And I'll show you. You take the sugar cane here and they put it through this press. They turn these big wheels. Let me turn it for you. Stand by. That's great. Are those amigos turn it? Let's see. Yep, I was gonna grab some. You may have to turn it both ways, sir. That's why I th that's why I just asked him. He said, "Yeah." Me? I could almost do it. <laughs> We're right back here. Oh wow. So they press it out. Press the sugar cane out. That is so cool. Look at the pegs you can yeah. build this. You just literally light the fire beneath it. You boil it down, it distills up through this pipe. Way over here. And the thanks of shell oil, <laughs> it goes in here. Then it hangs in there. See all the ants too. Jesus. Check this out. This is pretty. Some here. Lift, lift this top. You can tell me if you want. Delicious, huh? Notice it's full of maggots too. And they'll strain out the maggots and drink it. <coughs> mm -hmm. Smell it? <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Welcome to the jungle. Mm. <laughs> Man. That's why, children, we don't drink moonshine. <laughs> Let's heat up the still through here, up through this copper pipe, which will give you copper poisoning and you blind you. You drink this fire water? I don't feel any taste. Say blind and dull again.
At least 20,000 feet right now. Wow, it's completely coming over top of us. Well, I woke us up. <laughs> oh, man. What a way to wake up in the morning. I thought it was, I thought it was thunder. Wow, man, I thought we were in the middle of a storm. Dude, look at that shit. This whole thing blew up, man. The static just threw lightning and thunder everywhere. Oh, yeah, it's dropping right in the water over here. <laughs> I can hear the thunder. That's great. You should have to see it splashing as it hits the water. You want coffee, you guys? You yeah, coffee? yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Actually, I'm okay, but I never had coffee. I'm all right. Wow, like that. Can't hear the thunder. Look at that. It's wild. Oh, we're going to get hit any second, man, with the ash. Really? Yeah, it's going to come right here. It's going to blow right over us and fall right down. It's fucking wild, man. Got it. <laughs> That's great. I heard it. I'm like, damn, it's a thunderstorm. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Get this. <laughs> Just don't like it at all, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's cleaned up already. Look. You, know, you always watch. You always watch for where it comes up first, and then you see how big it is. It's a pyroclastic for. Oh, 
Oi, 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 Right, Bob. Okay. Right, car. So I'll be taking off to the switch vehicles and then I'll take you to have a look at the damage to the airport side of the airport. Great. Because that's near to my office. Great. And then we have to go way back here and then we've the press on. Perfect. Do you take sugar and milk? Yeah. Look at all the uh, coming into the clouds there, we go. A bit of rain, a little rain, dirty rain. That's so crazy. It's so crazy. You know, the top of the hill and the weed even like water. which is now in the exclusion zone. Mm -hmm. And I really must be really bothered because I'm trying to see if they can do 100 bars and oats. And this cattle, this cow, a baby one, calf, jumped from the side of the road, which was slightly higher, maybe about three feet higher here, mm -hmm. and landed right on the bonnet. Landed right on the bonnet of the sports car. Oh, no. and, I, and I really was shifted, you know, and you know, you just got to slam your ankle. Yeah. Slid right up the side of the car. out ruins of the terminal. Um, if you look at the by the looking right at the sun, you can see where the plane stuck down with the white right, lines yes. right, the roadway went straight there. Come in, you see a silver roof, that was the right. that was the fire truck shed. Then you can see next to that to its right the control tower. Right. The flat roof, green, right? And then if you like came, came to the right of that and back of that, that's where the terminal was, so it's completely gone. You know, completely gone now. Now, there, and, and inside here, there, there, was, there was a complete towel. With the with, and it's all gone, all covered. You can certainly see where the where the floor went this morning. Still small. But we all look at that way. But I mean. everybody down, mm -hmm. pick the people who come off the plane and bus them back quickly to get them out of the way, you know, because you have to learn to live with the volcano, you know, right. you, can't, you can't be frightened of it all your life, you have to learn to respect it and live with it, you know? and, um, but the people we had working at the airport, the day all this happened, got out by the skin of their teeth, and that's where we lost our other truck, our, our, our second truck, like the one we're driving this morning, is buried under this floor. And it was parked at the airport as an emergency um, exit route. Okay, so that's floors to the east. Wow. So the, the, there are still two or three villages almost perfect. And um, while they were kicking around, they, they unearthed uh, an Indian burial ground. So the Smithsonian came in 
mm-hmm. and everything that they called out they took, took back to Washington mm-hmm. for testing and eventually when we've set up our museum here it will come back. But um, one of the Indian chiefs in America, Seminole from Florida, he came with his witch doctor, his, his, his medicine man, mm-hmm. to, uh, to, to do the Indian rites over this burial ground because what he did, very rich man, made his money through gambling, you know, with the Seminole Indian gambling thing he mm-hmm. And he, he collected reports on Indian burial sites. He says, why do they always keep digging up these Indian sites, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, it didn't matter if they were American Indians or South American Indians or Caribbean Indians. So he, he used to follow these archaeological digs and then bring his... Uh, and, and I remember, and I went to see him in Florida later on, and the medicine man told me, he said, you see, the, the problem with this volcano is we've disturbed the ancient burial grounds of the Indians. So this is the gods now telling us ah. we shouldn't have done it, you know. And uh, I said, well, what we're going to do? He said, well, I'll find a couple of virgins to throw down. The, um, <laughs> I said, well... <laughs> If only we had snow, these would make the world great. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. This is the actual one of my blue apps. It's right in front There's the old airport, or there's where Mr. Farrell used to live, not the Taylor. Okay, I don't know. Right, well you see the, the concrete strip, that's the old airport road, right? And then Mr. Farrell used to live there. Remember, remember, this valley goes all the way to Blue. And then there's Glenmore underneath us. Oh, that's always down here. Yes, okay. That's where Glenmore is. I see, so that's the road, the road was just beyond there. Yeah, well, you could see this all over here. That's right, okay. Right, okay. Yes. Yes. And that's where the four reefs are.
behind it is the Catholic school which was completed a year before the <laughs> You've never seen the, you've seen two major floors, and then the third and last one is right on the southern tip. You see that mountain just peeking out the cloud. Yes. On Boxing Day of of ninety eight of ninety seven, <coughs> a floor went down on that side of the mountain, and then that destroyed the entire south. So there's really three major areas of the floor. The one we saw this morning, number one, this one, number two, and um, and still only ten percent of the dorms come off. There's still another ninety percent of the company. And if it ever starts to slip, right, and then you come over and uh, you see an old green tree, that was the cemetery. And you see these horses running down that way. So they're now trying to bulldoze the water to take this water away from the cemetery.
good while before all of this. So this is different than the microbes, yeah? Um, in the middle of the house, too. Where? Some people try to figure out from here. Do I know AUC is over there? Yeah, you can see the house. to do now is take all those names off the map. No, you have no, to put a pointer on the map. You have a landmark. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah. They're still there. Where are they? They are still there. But what do you want to miss? The houses. <laughs> That's right. The land is what, still there. There's no houses. There's no village. So you don't no. need a name. When you, when you finish now, there's a part of the other side of the chain. So the map will be different. The control line will be different. But you still have a gauge. Yes, it used to be, we can't determine no more. And there is no map to show you where gate is. I tell you, if it wasn't for that radio and uh, for that radio monster uh, communication antenna. antenna, you would not know. Not have known that, that Amazon. Amazon is Fast. gone. You can use the map and, and, and your references and your GPS and well, yes, where yes, things yeah, are. Exactly. You know? But by the eye. For the, for the eye, it's difficult. See? Woo. Come um, on, Sammy. <laughs> Sammy, turn up too much of that. Wow, cannot believe when you see the Kambali news green. That's why people want to go back to bed Really? 
Yeah, yeah that's the studios of the that's those white the buildings in the trees over there. No, just across a little there. Uh-huh. No, look across. No, I thought the palm trees. You know what I'd like to know? What, what, what have you got on the top of the hill and look down? Oh, you want to get up there? Okay, get up there. Get up here. We're on this side already, aren't we? Yeah, but you brought this down. Oh, it does? Yeah. So yeah. how does Hoosie get through there? I don't know the fuck this Which road gone? From going up to it. I'm going to go road here. Well, I've never been up there. Sorry, no. No road up there? Pick up the barrier. I'll hit you. You go on this, drive up to the bottom. Right, okay. And you swear to me. Oh, well, we want to stop here and take a couple of photos. Okay. Let's go right This road had gone. Uh, I see what they mean. <laughs> the road has gone. Huh? Okay, now this is this is not pyroclastic floor, this is all mud floor. Mud from rain. I mean, we used to we used to stand on this bridge and look down like forty feet into the river. I mean, it was a real ravine. Wow. And the thing is, is this this is how it was formed in the first place. That's how it was flat enough to be a golf course because millions of years ago, this is how it was formed. You know, it's a pretty golf course. Too. I've seen pictures of it. Yeah. Still can't get over that. This was like forty feet deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a new bridge too, this bridge is only 12 years old. Yeah, you can see it, I mean, it's, it's, I mean on this side. And then the deeper. area. Oh, so you're, it was, you were right over there, huh? Yes. Yeah. Wow. So we were, what we were, what we were looking before, that's where you... Yeah, under the hill, just right under those building there, that's mm. right. Wow. So you're, you're, you could see that it's, once the country stabilized and people are confident that they are, it's going to move out. Yeah, I think pick up the you know, But it's not, the worry thing about it is that we've been there for a key profit, you know, that, that scared, scared people. You, get, you, you, you can't plan anything when you keep it puffing. And we only really hope that nothing will affect the dark. Mm -hmm. you know, but um, you know, we are going to be right off from here back with, you know, right, right it off completely. Mm -hmm. Can't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't think you'll ever be able to rebuild this, huh? 
Well, you know, like on, on those hills, it's home there. I mean, all they need to have an access road and uh, the, 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 um, the services, but you know, with this bridge, just stuff, stuff, stuff coming come down here, you know, you can't. Hello? Sorry. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hello. So, you see, this is where the water's coming out, the water that we waded into a few minutes ago. How you doing?
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-